Welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday, where today we're going to take a look at navigating inside of eDrawings. To do this, we're going to publish an eDrawing directly from SolidWorks. Once you've published the eDrawing, you can send this to anybody, and that includes people who aren't engineers, and that presents some challenges. Finding things on an engineering drawing can be difficult for people who aren't an engineer. For example, where might this section view AA be located at? Well, with inside of eDrawings, you can click on any section view arrow, and eDrawings will navigate over to that particular view. What I really like about this tool is if you get into complex drawings, such as this, where you might have a detail view, eDrawings can bring you there. But if there's furthermore another section view arrow, you can use that to navigate further in. Likewise, if you ever want to return to where you came from, you can click the view label itself to return where that view came from. And you can do this all the way back through the drawing. Now, this presents some unique opportunities. When we take a look at section B, for example, I might be interested in what that section actually looks like in 3D. With the view selected, the user only needs to choose the rotate button and they can navigate around and get a pretty good idea of what that section view is going to look like. And then at any time they need to, they can return home at any time. You can do this with detail views as well, and what you'll notice is SolidWorks will break apart just that area, including any sections it might have come off from. Again, we can return home at any time. Finally, if you're trying to locate a feature on another view, this is where the pointer really comes in handy. When you turn the pointer on, you can use it to locate a feature in any view, for example, maybe this tapped hole on this view. And if we zoom out, we can see where that line falls on any other view. This makes it really easy to understand, in particular, where this feature might be over in this detail view. When I hover over it, we can see that it aligns with this feature here in the other direction where it would cross through that part. This makes it really easy for non-engineers to get a better understanding of your engineering drawings.